Hi everyone, this is Heather from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to remove color casts on skin, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. Occasionally when you are photographing in a saturated rich environment <laughs> such as this one where there is a lot of green, you will get color casts that can become very difficult to correct. Now in the case of this photo and where I typically always begin when I'm talking about green saturation is I'll apply one of my presets to see if I can just remove that green without having to visit the panels. And I noticed that with my green one preset, this photo looks so much better. Let's take a look at the before and after. So I really don't have anything else additional that I'd want to do. And I think the same thing is going to hold true for this image. Now you'll notice that the light on her face looks pretty clean. Meaning I'm not getting a green color cast. I just see that the background is very green. So again, I might try one of these presets and I see that one of them will work. Yep, this is going to be the one, the green O2. I like it. Her skin tone looks great. I would move on from here. But what we want to look at is an image like this where if I apply one of these green presets, I just get the feeling it's not going to look the way I want it to look. So I'm going to undo that with a command or control Z on the keyboard. And really what's bothering me is I notice that there's a green color cast on his face. So I'm going to pull up on the tint a little bit and maybe increase the exposure. And we're definitely heading in a good direction with this, but I want to show you what to do when you feel like the skin just doesn't look right. Let's access the adjustment brush by pressing K on the keyboard. And what I'm going to do is pull up on the tint a little bit and down on the saturation. I'm going to take my flow up to 100, auto mask is off, density is 100, and I'm going to press O on my keyboard in order to show the mask overlay. I'm going to brush over his skin, his face, and I noticed that I've gone a little bit too far. My brush was too large. That's okay. I can hold down Alt or Option and then just drag around that area in order to remove that selection. And that looks pretty good. O in order to show the overlay. Now, I'm not sure what's going to work best here. So what I want to do is pull up pretty significantly on the tint so you can really see what's happening. And let's take it down as well. And sometimes this is actually what your photo will look like out of the camera with this green color cast that has been reflected off of the ground onto the face of your subject. So what you can do is pull up on the tint in order to correct that just on the skin. Now the reason I pulled down on the saturation was to, was not to make him look gray, but just to take away a little bit of the oversaturation of the green on his face. Let's turn just this adjustment off and then on. And the difference is slight, but I think what I'm also going to do is increase the temperature. So my point here is that when you have a color cast that is being reflected onto the skin of your subject, you need to create an adjustment using the adjustment brush and then experiment with the sliders in order to get the best possible skin tone. A particular group of settings is not going to work on each image. What you need to be able to do is identify the problem. In this case, it's a green color cast, which tells me I can circumvent green by adding magenta and possibly pulling down on the saturation. I hope that you can use this tool and a variety of techniques with this tool in order to improve your images. I'll see you in the next video.